Ryan. Alright, just a minute. You need a beer? Uh, no thanks. I got one. Okay, cool. Cool shit, man. I'm fighting Cracky. Uh, it's getting hairy. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Final solution! You ain't coming back this time, Dracula! This is surely the last generation of Belmonts are gonna have to waste their lives banishing your sorry ass to the spirit realm. Shit man, I haven't played this game in ages, but I got through it on the first try. Oh, you sure killed that Dracula. I thought for sure one of those balloons was gonna get you. But you mean the uh, constellation of wicked energy death orbs? Uh, yeah, those were some mean balls. Goddamn right they're mean. That's black magic, motherfucker. One hit and you're just about dead. So anyway, how's the shooting going? I think it's going okay. I mean, my co-star keeps fucking up. She's costing the production just, like, dozens of dollars every day. But you do what you gotta yeah, do. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. So... You play video games, don't you, Ryan? Uh, yeah, I mean, well, it's been years, actually. But, yeah, when I was a kid. Well, Ryan, one of the great things about video games is if you get slayed by an evil vampire, Dracula, for example, or you can't rescue the princess, you're only letting yourself down. But what you probably go to bed without thinking about is how Bowser is now up there in his floating airship Princess Peach, going over the railing, and at first you think, you know, it's because she's airsick or something. But then Bowser is like, hey, you want to get on the action? And suddenly you realize that she's actually fucking this, like, dragon turtle thing. And, I mean, Bowser's really just slamming her ass, just giving it to her with that gnarled turtle dick of his. And she's just bent over there, like, resigned to her fate. There's nothing you can do about it. Because you lost. At this point, all you can hope for is she doesn't get pregnant, because those Bowser kids are hard to birth. If you had just jumped over that fucking goddamn dragon and cut down the bridge, dumped his ass in the lava in the first place, sweet little Princess Peach could have avoided all that. Can you imagine her now? Mid-30s, little dragon turtles running around her feet, another suckling at that one sagging, gnarled witch tit. That's your fault, man. You don't want that on your conscience, do you? No. God, no. I mean... No. My God. I, that's just... I mean, once upon a time, you had a little crush going on for this Princess Peach character. And if you want to be with her in this scenario, you've got to be Bowser. But nobody wants to be Bowser, mm. do they? Ryan? One Halloween, I dressed up as Bowser. No. Nobody wants to be Bowser. But Ryan... Right now, you are Bowser. Fucking the princess's soft, sweet, young vagina with your old scaly dick. That vagina is never gonna be the same, Ryan. You get me? No, I, uh, I'm You're Bowser. a big fucking dragon turtle, man. Or Dennis Hopper. Anyway, you're just spewing out fireballs, a racial invective, jumping up and down, giving everybody motion sickness on my show. And the, uh, the princess, she isn't exactly excited about the way your life is turning out. Who would you rather do the hustle with, man? Some big shelled dragon? Or a well-hung Italian plumber with a slight weight problem? Like, how hung? Wait, wait, are you upset about something I'm doing with the show? Ryan, I let you take the controller for one minute. Next thing I know, I'm getting angry calls from the sponsors. You got the princess bent over some dungeon wall, both of you all sweaty from lava and sex, your big scaly dick all up in her ass, and I'm wondering if I'm gonna toss your turtle ass in some lava just to keep the sponsors happy. Wait, are you saying that I'm uh, fucking the sponsors? Yeah, I... <clears throat> yeah, yeah, you're, you're fucking the sponsors. And their uh, vag vaginae are stretched out from all the racist bullshit they've been seeing. And now they're calling me, wanting to pull their ads. What do you mean, racist? There's a lot of racist humor going on. It's very inappropriate. No, no, no. The, the show isn't racist. The humor is racial. Uh, it's a parody of racism. What? Are you trying to tell me this is some high art shit? 
I give you a show, and all of a sudden, you're Alan Alda. We don't need another mash, man. We already got a mash. Thank <laughs> you.